Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy. We're gonna go straight into this video. It is my new creation in Demion Guard Dragon with no magicians. I believe the magicians are really good, and I personally can't decide what is better this format, but obviously the format just started, and the only way to know that is by testing non-stop, and that is exactly what I've been doing. If you've been following along with my streams, I've been testing day in, day out, every hour of the day, from now until yesterday, since the battle list came out. So with that being said, this is my Endemia Guard Dragon list, which is absolutely insane. I'm going to show you guys how, how to do the combo tutorial in pure Endemia without magicians. And then I'll show you guys the deck list. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and enjoy the video. We're going to go straight into it. I'm going to go as fast as I can so I can explain everything in depth for you guys. With the ban of Agar Pain, you play the deck differently. Now my pure, I have a pure Endemia list without the Guard Dragons and one with the Guard Dragons. I believe the one with the Guard Dragons offers more power against the, uh, the way you're going to face. It destroys Thunder Dragons, it destroys Sky Strikers, it destroys the whole meta and puts up real negations going first. We're going to go 7 negates turn 1 I'm going to show you guys right now just how to do it. So this is a pretty average hand. We're going to Cerberus just as Ash Bait. Uh, we'd rather that get Ash as opposed to a Servant or a Shrine or something along those lines. So a lot of times you're going to have to use Ash Baits, right? And again, look at this hand. Like It's not the best hand. It's a good hand. We have Servant Shrine. But you don't even use Jackal on the Serpents because then you won't be able to use the Shrine. So sometimes you got to debate just like that. Like Pendulums are not as small brain as you will think. You have to decide the exact time to play things. A lot of you would have done just done Jackal first or maybe Shrine first and then Jackal. But you wouldn't have done spell, spell Counters on the Servant unless it got, if it got, if Electrum got hand trapped. So little stuff like that. You guys just got to be wary and play stuff at the correct precision and play everything correctly. So... With uh, Desires, you're going to notice something we're not even going to activate Desires. Only use Desires if you really need to. Because you do play Persona Dragon in this deck as a card to bring out with Seal. And because this combo does revolve around Tempest Dragon, which uh, is amazing in this deck. Uh, it is a brick. Drying is not the best. But again, it just offers so much in terms of extending your play that it is worthy of playing. And another thing to know of the Tempest Dragon, which I'll show you guys later in the combo... If you draw uh, too many Servants, you can always send Servant and the Tempest to add a Dark Room to hand and Normal Summon and get back to Gate 0 and you have your Guard Dragon combo. So Tempest is not really a brick brick, you can always Pen Summon it, but the grind game the Tempest offers is, is amazing. Anyways, we're going to keep going here. Everything's pretty straightforward at this point. You just want to send as many Negates as you can with Electrum. You are playing pure Endymion here, so you've got a, a, multiple Jackals, multiple Endymions in your deck. And so the goal is to get as many of them out. So even if everything got hand trapped, you have your Desires, you have your Jackal, you have your Pen Summon, like, you're always good. Now, we're gonna pop Servant with Electrum, putting in the scale to add the Time Gazer. You might be thinking, yo, Triff, why you have Time Gazer? But you want to make sure to Pendulum Summon the Endymion, and Time Gazer is gonna be used as Link Fodder. So, as you see here, we're gonna have three Pendulum Negates. Uh, this is what the deck does, okay? It puts up a bunch of Pendulum Negates like this, nothing changed. Because of Agar Pain banned now, you might want to play a few extra Jackals or Endymion, just in case you can't fully guard your combo if you get hand trapped or something along those lines. Obviously, Agar Pain getting banned hurts, but you can still put up the exact same crazy boards. It just, if sometimes they hand trap the LP, now it's harder to go into Agar Pain, or it's a lot, which is tough to do with in the begin with, to begin with, anyways. So now I'm going to show you guys the new combo. I uh, go LP, Electrum, that triple burst, LP, bring out Distrudo, simple. But now what you're going to do is instead of going into Agar Pain, you're going to go into Romulus, Romulus adding Ravine. And now, I'm not even going to use Desires at all in case you banish Persona Dragon or the Tempest, which is going to, you're going to lose a negate by doing so, and you don't want to XYZ away with the Endymion. So you're just going to straight up, you don't need the Desires whatsoever, you have to avoid it as well. So what are you going to draw? You're just going to set spell cards. So, Ravine the Desires. Sometimes you got to do big brain planes like, like that. There's a lot of big brain plays that a lot of you guys wouldn't have done in this very simple hand that didn't even have that many big brain plays to begin with. But a lot of you guys, a lot of you, the reason you guys aren't playing good with the deck is because you guys just are misplaying with the deck. And if you notice the whole deck, the only search spell card we have is Mastery. This deck, the only search spell it runs is just Mastery. It absolutely obliterates Thunder Dragons. Like, Thunder Dragons is the buy against this deck. The deck just does not search, which is the one thing that I love about this deck. It just makes Sky Strikers and pure Thunder Dragon, the two decks you'll be facing the most in this format, I believe, just a, a buy. Now, you're going to activate Tempest Effect, which has two dragons in there from Triple Burst and the LP to bring it out. And uh, now you're going to be able to make Absolute, and you guys kind of see where this is going. Now the Absolute and the Romulus, kind of like Agar Pain, will now bring you the Seal and the Vortex, kind of like Agar Pain didn't even get banned. And to make things even worse for your opponent, you're not going to use Ravine again since you have uh, the Desudo, which you don't even need, and the Tempest. You have both your targets in the graveyard anyways for next turn. Your follow is great. 
and I'm gonna use a Demon Effect, pop the Ravine, and you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, neg five negates, six negates from Persona that Seal will bring out, because then Demon will bounce itself to have a uh, scales for next turn, bringing out a Persona Dragon, and you have Tempest coming back for two turns, and your turn banishing Absolute Romulus and the following turn Vortex Seal. This is a very typical board. The only issue you're gonna have is also you don't have access to the Jackal during Demion. At the very least, you can take out a Jackal, take out a Demion, but you're always gonna have a seal of Vortex, a Jackal, and Demon, and a Persona Dragon with this deck. And typically more, as you see here, we have all four of them. And that's the beauty of pure Endymion, that you play more. I play two Endymion, two Jackal. I'll show you guys the deck list right now. You just play more of them, so much more of a chance to, just in case something gets stopped with the Guard Dragons. And the uh, grind game's amazing with Tempest. Anyways, we're going to now show you guys a deck list. Where we play three Servant, obviously. Just one Magister. I understand pure, pure, pure Endymion without Guard Dragons and, and stuff runs way more. But I will show it in a later video, uh, my Spellbook Sky Circle Endymion, which is insane, which utilizes a bunch of cards that hold spell counters and just a bunch of cards that three, two to three spell counters just by one card, and you resolve these cards like crazy. But for this version, one magic is all you need. You don't want to have a magic or current razor stuff, but current razor and chronograph are insane. They uh, do so much. They are not only pendulum cards, they are spell cards. So they do what these spell cards do because they leave the scale, but not just that. They're also turbo cards and their pendulum card so it just offers so damn much to the deck and a lot of the times you're getting dark room and grave to add the gate zero anyways so the high scale is what you're missing sometimes but again it's it, it's amazing and the beauty of this deck is that the uh scale fours are also low scales you don't need the guard dragons really you don't need dark room to get pen summon a lot of the times if you don't have any low scale uh you save the shrine or the ravine or the foolish whatever for the distrudo and you get the guard dragons through that and it's absolutely insane two endemian two jackal you don't need more than two endemian you're not going to banish both. If you banish both, big deal. If you banish, it's not going to happen. But if you banish one, one is all you need. And then two Jackal is all you need. Then we side the Garuda for the two Cerberus. Cerberus getting Ash is amazing in this deck. It's just a bait. Scale four, like I said, is a low scale in this deck. Double Dark One, one Gate Zero. Uh, it's all you need. I understand a lot of times you want to normal summon the Dark One, but you don't want to run the risk of bricking with it. Drawing the Dark One is not that good. Uh, you just want it in the deck. But drawing drawing it is just whatever. You don't, you don't want too many cards like that. You just want all spells or the best hands are spells, servants, magister. The first line you see here, the best hand is this. The best hand is the first line and all the spells. Those are the best hands with the Cerberus. You, uh, having one or two Jackal and Demon is fine and one of these are fine. That's okay. It's okay to draw them because most of them are scales or, or you just pen summon them. But uh, the hands that break through interruptions are the spells and the front row or the front column. Front row, yeah. Anyways, we're going to move on. One Persona Dragon, uh, because uh, you do lose negation from Agar Pain, you still put up negates easily, but you definitely want the seal to build. You want it to be worthwhile to go into the seal. You don't want to go into the seal and just have a seal effect. You want something to come up from it. And Persona Dragon is definitely very, very good. It is exactly what Aether does going second, even. It, ban it, it negates the card that Aether is going to banish. Uh, it's so easy to get rid of it cards with this deck that you don't got to worry about banishing it. And it's worthy of having the scale one. And even though Aether is a scale four and it is a low scale for this deck, it's still you'd rather a low scale in the deck like a Persona Dragon, just in case. And it, Persona Dragon deals with uh, just being able to pendulum summon if you draw it's great. It's just not a brick at all, whereas Aether is a brick. The pseudo great, Tempest great. Tempest is the only card that sees a brick. The pseudo definitely not a brick. It makes a guard dragon combo easily. But Tempest is so it's you send him a fool, you send him a shrine, send him a re it's amazing. It's just part of the combo. It's an extender. You definitely need to play it. I thought you don't need to play it, but I thought you don't need to play Persona Dragon either. But again, we're not playing last format. After testing all day, I realized that you do need to play the Tempest and the Persona Dragon. Uh, or Aether, whatever you personally want. But I think Persona is just better than Aether. Uh, triple Mastery. I debated playing two Mastery because you don't want to see double spells. But it's just such a good card, it doesn't matter. And at the end of the day, Ravine discarding some card anyway, so it's fine. One Ravine drawing, it sucks. I'm debating playing two Ravine over two Desires. That's actually why you guys saw that. I just took that out. But two Ravine, two Desires might be optimal. Because sometimes drawing it, you do miss out on being able to searching it for free. But searching it for free with Romulus is gigantic. Especially with Tempest and Distrudo. It's just a new way you play Pendulums. You have to do it. It's just insane. Uh, it's too good not to play. The, the fact that Agarpain's banned, you got to do it. One Foolish Double Shrine. One Upstar Triple Desires. Like I said, playing uh, Trips of Mastery and Desires... Might be iffy, but you do want to see them every single hand. And even if you draw doubles, the Ravine will discard it after you search it. Triple into Void, Triple Lord. A lot of you aren't playing into the Void. It's uh, it's nonsense. You must play it. It's not even debatable. Allure, if you're playing Chronograph, Foolish, Dark Worm, uh, Curtain Razor, play Allure. But if not, don't. The fact that Curtain Razor, uh, Chronograph, and Allure is huge, man. They're, they're amazing. 
Next, a side deck. This is my side deck for a few of my decks. Triple Lava Golem, Triple Super Poly, destroys Thunder Dragon boards. If you notice with Thunder Dragon, you only have three search spells. That's it. Nothing else searches in the deck. Every single thing else is live against th uh, Thunder Dragon. It is so easy to destroy that deck. I can't even begin to explain how easy it is to destroy that deck. I didn't live on stream with the worst hand ever. Uh, all you gotta do is just take out these three masteries for three Lava Golem, three Super Poly. You can take out any three cards you want uh, that you like the least. Going second, I take out Tempest and Dragon Ravine, but so you can leave it in as well. It's pretty good to have as well. It's just too easy to destroy that deck. Uh, Thunder Dragon's literally the buy. Two Dino Wrestler, you have eight cards now against good negation decks like Thunder Chaos or Pendulum, the best deck in the planet. So you now have eight of these uh, versus Orcus, you have these six versus Lava Golem and Super Poly. Uh, leave Lava Golem versus Salamangre and any combination of Reboot and Dino Wrestler for the back row, making sure that their Salamangre traps are useless. And you can borrow sort the Lava Golem. So Lava Golem definitely huge. Uh, double Secret Village 1 Terraforming. It makes Strikers even easier. This deck is built to destroy the meta. It's built to destroy Thunder Dragon. It's built to destroy Sky Strikers. It already destroyed Sky Strikers enough, but now it's even easier. And on top of that, going first, you do want access to the Secret Village and the Terraforming just in case your opponent has Super Poly or Dark Ruler, which we will be playing because of Thunder Dragons. So I would actually take out three Desires and two Secret Village. And, and put, in, put in two Secret Village, that's it. For, let's say, two Desires, something like that. Going first because you don't want to banish counties. Going first, one Garuda for comp for, uh, con uh, for control decks. Going second, and what's starting Venom? L uh, Electromite LP Triple Burst S Seal. Uh, that's all you need. B Cop. You don't need Pisty by the way. Pisty is cool to have, but my, I have a combo where Pisty brings a Triple Burst. You link away the Pisty for Romulus, and eventually Romulus Triple Burst go into a uh, uh, Appaloosa. But we'll get into that for another combo. There's lots of crazy combos with both this and the Magician version. I'll be uploading a Magician version later today, but it's amazing. So Yuja is definitely very clutch for Pure Endymion. Uh, Romulus, huge, must play it. Absolute Vortex, must play it. Absolutely must play it. Dragster, Arcanite Magician, I gotta bring up this card. And Pure Endymion, this card is the nuts. This card equals Yazi Mermer in Magicians. I don't like Yazi Mermer in this deck because you don't have Harmonizing. And you don't have uh, Arcanite Magician, which is insane. You take the scales that are on, uh, like Cerberus. You take the counters on Cerberus, Jackal, Magister, Servant, whatever. And you can use their counters to destroy cards in the field. So Arcanite Magician does exactly what Yazi Mermer do does in Pure Endymion. So you gotta play one or the other. Yazi Mermer in Magicians, Arcanite Magician in Pure Endymion. And it's absolutely insane. I, I On stream, I pop five cards or something with it. After you negate, you negate all the interruptions, you go Arcanite Magician. Pop everything, and if you really want to opt to go absolute, it's absolutely insane. Uh, Phoenix Unicorn, all you need. Boral Sword and Boral Load is officially now mandatory because Pure Thunder will see a lot of play, even though the deck is the buy. That's the deck. You guys, show you guys a combo, show you guys the deck list. I will show you later today my updated Pure, oh, not Pure, Pendulum, Magician, and Demion list. Uh, 45 cards. I also have another variant at 50. I will show them both in another video today with an extra combo where I have, which is insane. We had five, six, uh, six negates. Uh, with no like no bricks in deck is actually absolutely insane. Pendulum still are the best deck. Have no fear. So if you guys got this far, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.